incredible growth story, a Minnesota food company with a 30-year-old CEO. Man Cave Craft Eats started just in Lunds and Byerly's. Well, now it's in 5,000 stores all over the country. So what's their secret to Russia Eats? That's our actual tent at the one right by Target Field in downtown Minneapolis. As a young University of Minnesota student, Nick Bestie decided he wanted to sell brats. He brought 100 pounds to the Minneapolis farmer's market. Sold out right away. Next week, we're like, well, what do we do now? Right. Brought 150 pounds, <laughs> right? Sold out right away. Um, so it just progressed from there. It's only taken eight years, but Man Cave has grown from that one tent to the shelves of 5,000 grocery stores around the country. How big do you want to get? We want to be a household name with rabid fan base, right? So we want to be the, the Sam Adams of meat. Now called Man Cave Craft Eats, Nick's gone way beyond the brat. Italian sausage with prosciutto, another sausage with kale and smoked gouda, breakfast sausage with the bacon, egg, and cheese all inside. It tastes like an omelet. It was really good. And the most flavorful pre pattied burger I've ever had. If we're going to do a burger, what's the craft beer version of this burger? Well, craft beer is IPA, things like that. So, what's our version of an IPA when it comes to meat? The Renegade Burger uses brisket, sirloin, short rib, and bone marrow, carefully formed into a patty, not smashed. We take a big clump of meat. And kind of put it through a gentle roller that just kind of just flattens it down. Shape. Yep, so it still has that patty shape, but it, it uh, cool. just kind of gently rolls it down. Man Cave knows it can't compete against the giant companies on price, so instead it's going up market. We don't talk about Man Cave versus Johnsonville or Man Cave versus Hormel. Instead, we talk about the butcher down the street, you know, the more elevated premium products. That's who we're helping them compete with. They recently redesigned their look. Lots of bright pastel colors. They're making Man Cave a little less manly. Our customers who we're appealing to are women. I mean, that's who's buying this product. It's the 40-year-old soccer mom, right? Um, she's bringing it home and, and kind of elevating her barbecue. That's why they've moved into turkey burgers. Elevated, of course, with queso fresco and jalapeno. What does that really mean, craft eats? So for us, it's this sort of obsession to detail. I mean, we're always innovating. Pretty good local success story. They are still in Lunds and Byerly's, but you can find them in Fresh Time Festival. Cub Foods are in Costco, too. And this is, I mean, you can see this packaging. It's pretty interesting. Yeah. They said they had to fight with the FDA a little bit to get this little window oh, in Oh, that's cool. They said at first, see the heart? Mm -hmm. They said, they're yeah. like, well, people are going to think you're saying it's heart healthy. Oh, it's heart healthy <laughs> They're now. like, I don't think people are going to think that. <laughs> no. but that's, any food company knows you deal with those kind of packaging yeah. issues. But. This is so interesting, though. Macaroni and cheese stuffed. Yeah, and you saw, meat. like, it's pretty big <laughs> macaroni in there, too. Remember that. Okay, I the know. omelet one. Right. I don't, what? You say you can taste all of it? Yeah. Yeah, it tastes like an omelet. That's like, so I mean, wild to me. Yeah. So it could just be your breakfast alone? Yeah, it's pretty handy. It's right, you know, who Absolutely. has time to whip up those right. eggs? But they also have a charity component. We're definitely seeing this in more uh, companies that are run by millennials, especially. Yeah. So when you buy a pack, so when you buy one product, they donate money to give one meal. Oh. So they said nice. as they grow, like that's going to be a very significant amount of money they yeah. give Absolutely. to charity. Absolutely. Yeah.